I don't know how to tell you this, but your father has murdered people before. Hello, Vanity Fair. My name is Iowa Debris. You may know me as an actor, writer, producer, but what you may not know is that I went to law school for 17 years. I'm here to judge the drama of people who I do not know. Welcome to IO's Court. What qualifies me to be an arbiter of justice is I'm a Libra, need I say more, probably. The scales, balance, legality. I am now about to hear two sides of opposing beef, as it were. I'm gonna listen to them, I'm gonna deliberate, that is a court word, and then I'm going to pass, pass, a judgment. Ultimately, after I pass this judgment, it will be enacted into law, unless you live in Alaska or Hawaii. Court is now in session. Let's hear the first case. Okay, so I took my girl to a Drake show and they played one of my favorite songs. So I took my phone out and recorded it just like everybody else. But my girl got really mad talking about I wasn't being in the moment. Pen doesn't work. What's wrong with her? Why'd she say that? My initial thoughts are that this pen doesn't work. Let's hear the other side. Hear me out, we literally didn't even have good seats. We were standing so far away and I know he's never even gonna watch that video. It's mad corny to hold your phone up like that. And I didn't even know he liked Drake that much. He wasn't even holding the phone right. I've heard enough. These two are gonna break up. They just don't seem like really compatible with each other, even just like vocally. It seems like like they're in two different like areas in their lives. The reality of taking videos at a concert is you literally are never going to watch it. Like ever in your life. But what should we do about that? Systematically, structurally, if it were up to me, if I were at the Supreme Court, but I'm not, I'm only at IO's court, but if I was in the Supreme Court, I would make it legal. Sorry, I just was like, is that how the law works? Yes, or no, I would have to like get a bill passed, right? God damn it. Anyway, I would make it so that artists have to release concert DVDs again. Remember watching a concert VHS or a concert DVD, how fun that was? It's fun, and then it's like it's like a whole event. It's not like an awful video from your awful phone that, by the way, is like built to break. Sorry to break it to you, that's how these things work. And the quality gets worse and worse as time goes by, and you're like, what? I saw Toro Imo in 2008. Why does it look like two pixels? Because they want it to look that way. Anyway, honestly, she shouldn't be mad at him for taking out his phone, but like she is right about it. You know what I mean? I wish them a long and happy relationship. I abstain from judgment. Let's hear the next case. So I was staying at a hotel with my family and when we were leaving our rooms and walking down the hallway, uh, my my dad stole a fry from a room service tray that was waiting to go into somebody else's room. Um, I think this is weird, and he shouldn't have done that. I'm shocked. I have chills all over my body. Oh my god. Okay, next. I. Oh. No one was gonna miss that French fry. Oh. I'm pretty sure they were done with that <gasps> meal. Oh. That fry looked so good, and the ketchup was right there. So why not a quick swipe? It's a victimless crime. My daughter needs to cut me some slack. To the person who submitted this message, I don't know how to tell you this, but your father has murdered people before. I don't know how to tell you this, but your father has murdered people before. There are, there are bodies in the ground. I don't know what she's so upset about. It's a victimless crime. Nobody's gonna miss that fry. Nobody's gonna miss that kid. <sighs> Literally chills. Stone cold. For me personally, that's disgusting behavior. It's nasty. It's absolutely sick. First of all, where are your hands? And why are they on my stuff? So there's that. Ugh. That's just, ugh. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. It's not about the quantity. It's about the the like moral reprehension of like getting into somebody else's belongings just because this is what's wrong with America. This is why we don't have free transportation. In Italy, they just hop on the train. I actually don't really know the breakdown of that, um, but I just know generally it's the honor system. It's the honor system. We have none of that. There's no pub there's no trust between each other. So there's no public trust. 
Don't take somebody else's stuff, man, that's nasty. And how do you know it's just waiting to go in somebody else's room? How do you know it wasn't taken out? And somebody saw the fries and they coughed all over that and farted all over the fries and went, now I'm done with this. I'm gonna put this in the hallway so some freaking idiot on vacation can come and eat my fart cough fry. My dad would never do that. My father, my father is a proud Nigerian man who came to this country and took his citizenship test and pays his taxes. Is your dad also an immigrant <laughs> his taxes? He's from Philly. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Say everything you need to hear. Guilty. I mean, I worked in restaurants and I did have coworkers who would be like, oh, like, let's take a little nibble of this. They were not me. They did not look like me or my friends. That's what I was like. You can't be acting like that, man. You got a family. Let's move on to the next case. I went to see a movie with a friend recently, and before the movie was even over, I looked over and he had his phone out. He was writing a letterboxed review. Gosh. Not only is this wrong because you shouldn't have your phone out, but the idea that you have to post your snarky opinions right away is just annoying. Yeah, I mean, that's low-key trash. Unless it's like a belated opinion, again, again, I'm a legal figure, and so I will hear both sides. Okay, so in my defense, I wrote my review basically during the credits, so it's not even that bad. And I had a lot of thoughts that I wanted to share, and if I don't get them out really fast, then I'm gonna forget what I had to say about the movie. I mean, isn't that what Letterbox is for? I've heard enough. So basically during the credits, I'm gonna need timestamps on that. I'm gonna need time codes. You were writing while the movie's still on. And also, if you are forgetting your review before the movie's over, you have a problem with your memory and you need to start doing more Sudoku in the morning and taking fish oil vitamins. My current relationship with Letterbox, after having a very public relationship with Letterbox, is that I'm really kind of chilling because these people are coming after my reviews and I'm just here to have a good time and be a little bit of a fool, okay? <laughs> it's not my fault that I started off as a comedian. I know you people know me as a dramedy actress, but please, I started off as a comedian. I was on Twitter. I was in the gutter, okay? Um, but I'm trying to be a little less addicted to the internet in general, so I'm just kind of chilling on the apps. Yeah. Guilty. Let's move on to the next case. I'm done with this. Okay. So I have this one friend, and every time we go out to eat in a group, she always orders a bunch of dishes for the table. And it's usually more food than we would even need, and it's not something that people are necessarily wanting to order. But then when the bill comes, she insists on splitting it evenly, even though she ordered for the whole group. Okay, weird submission from one of my enemies. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's hear the other side. I feel like this other person is really well-intentioned and just likes to eat good food. I don't know, okay. <laughs> Okay, listen, I am doing a service to the dining experience by making things fun and ordering dishes that look good, which is literally part of what eating out entails. And I swear I've seen my friend enjoy the food that comes to the table. I honestly just think that she's over-exaggerating because, I mean, the calamari is always going to be worth it. So I'm sorry that she's broke. I don't know what you want me to do. Okay, got a little, we, we got some class tension going on here. Tricky, tricky case. Okay, the, honestly, this one is about class. I'll say, this one's about money. British vibes, everything's about class. I identify with some of the behaviors of the second person. I love to order for the table. But the thing about ordering for the table is it like has to actually be a discussion. You have to be willing to hear no's. If you're addicted to calamari as this woman is basically admitting, you gotta kind of like, you gotta kind of own up. And when you go out with friends also who it's like, you know they have more money than you, or they like, they drink and you're not drinking, for example, and then they're like, let's all split the bill. And you're like, well, I'm not drinking like $17 craft cocktails. I'm drinking Coca-Cola. I'm dropping a lot of brand names. Anybody wanna come and give me a little deal over here? This is again another relationship where I'm like, this is ending in a few years. You know what I mean? This is a friendship that y'all go out one night, a little too much casamigos, and a fight gets started that it will it will be impossible to come back from. That's none of my business. I'm here for this case and this case only. So my ruling is that friend number one, like low key, start going out with friend number two a little less. And friend number two, be considerate and listen when people are ordering, actually ordering for the table. Okay, that's enough of this one. 
So I noticed that my boyfriend follows this popular model on Instagram, which is totally fine, but he started to comment publicly on her posts. And what, is that okay? I, it's almost always a fire emoji. I don't understand what he thinks will happen. I have a verdict already. Uh, your boyfriend is for the streets. Listen, yeah, I comment on her Instagram posts. I support her work. Uh, a fire emoji doesn't really mean anything, and I just do it out of habit at this point. Honestly, I think it's kind of weird that she's looking at who I follow. This man is a yokel, and he's for the streets. I'm not somebody who really comments, and most of the time it's for people that I know. If it's for somebody that I don't know, I don't really do that. I'm not gonna stop anybody from doing that, you know what I mean? You keep my post popping, thank you. But if you got a girlfriend, you can't be commenting a flame emojis on a model's post. I'm willing to bet they're fire emojis, 100% emojis. Maybe even one of those hot face, tongue out the eye, sweat bead, orange top of the head joints is too much. It's too much. I can hear him in his voice. He knows, he knows he's wrong. My verdict is you are a fool and a yokel. Your sentence, the streets where you belong. Guilty. I think this is a career high and I think I'm gonna close out sort of on a career high, Michael Jordan baseball style, you know what I'm talking about. All to say, I feel really proud of my work here today and I honestly think you should too. Court is, Literally, heartbreakingly for some, adjourned. Once I spin away, I'll cease to exist.